When you're doing a presentation on Zoom, would you like to have your audience focused on you instead of your slides, but you still want to show some information? Consider using the virtual backgrounds for your slides so that your content appears within the virtual background on your video. Now you can only do this if you're able to use virtual backgrounds. I have an older computer so I actually need to use a green screen but some of the newer computers you can use a virtual background without even using a green screen. There's about five basic steps. The first step is to use PowerPoint or some other slide presentation software in the widescreen 16:9 aspect ratio. That will be the same size as the virtual backgrounds in Zoom. You want to pick something that's an uncluttered color. The second step is to create your slides with minimal content and just have the content on one half or less of the slide. And I would suggest you put that content on the right side of the slide so that you appear on the left side, which is a natural flow for how people will look at things. They always look at faces first, and then they'll look at the written content. So try putting it just on the right side of the slide. After you create your slides, you need to save them as JPEGs. And then once you have them as JPEGs, you can simply upload them as virtual backgrounds. So I'll give you an example. Here is, actually I had this other slide presentation about where you put your notes when speaking. And I just added these two slides so I would have something to show at the beginning of this video. So what you do after you have your presentation created, you're going to save as, and I will call this test just because I'm doing that. And instead of, of course you want to save it as a PowerPoint, but in order to have the virtual backgrounds, you're going to need to save as JPEGs, as pictures. And then you can browse to where you want to save it. Let's say I'm going to save uh, in this particular presentation here. And I'll click Save and I want to save all the slides and then it will put all of the slides into a separate folder. Okay, so now I'm going to have to find that folder and there the folder is. It's my test folder. I click on that and I can see that I have my slides here. So then I need to upload the slides to the virtual background. And if you go to your desktop client and open up settings, under settings you will see virtual background. So I've clicked on that and right now I actually already have the slides up here. But to show you how you add, you just add the image or video. I'll add an image and there it is. So just for the fun of it, I'll upload slide one again. And it has added it at the end. So that's the slide that was just added. You have to add them one at a time. So now I'll add slide two. And there's slide two. You can do that for your entire presentation. And then when it comes to giving your presentation, you can just go through the slides. For example, I had a presentation on where do I put my speech notes? And I just go through the slides there. And you may find it much easier to actually mirror your video so that even though the words are now backwards, you if you move one way, it's as you expect. You'll have to decide which way works for you. But this is how you can change your virtual background to be your slides.